thank you for the organizer for inviting me. Thank you, Jianghua. <laughs> and uh, uh, good morning <laughs> this evening in China. Um, my topic is uh, dynamics based data science. Actually, this is, uh, you know, uh, in contrast to the statistic, I mean, traditional statistic based data science. So for this area, uh, my group focus on the four, you know, fields, four topics. The one is uh, uh, prediction. So, um, and even uh, a dynamics, I mean, original biological system is a high dimensional dynamic system, but they usually they are steady state or attractor is a low dimension. So we can explore such a, you know, a feature to making spatial temporal information transformation, we call the S -I -T -S -T -I, sorry. <laughs> and then we can even uh, using a very short term date time series data, we can make the accurate prediction. Uh, so for this area, we have a few, you know, the, the paper published, but uh, today I probably have no, no time to talk about this topic. Uh, the second one is a uh, um, and tipping point detection. So this is uh, for the critical state, uh, which means uh, an, a system uh, from a steady state uh, just before, uh, you know, um, and become um, unstable. Uh, the system, I mean, for dynamic, you know, determinist dynamic system, usually they have to pass through the center manifold, uh, which have various, uh, I mean, significant feature which can amplify the small oscillation. So with this feature, we can uh, detect the tipping point. Then we can make an early warning signal for disease prediction. <laughs> so this is second topic. Uh, uh, the third one is a uh, uh, is a, a dynamic causality. You know, is a uh, this causality is different from the uh, Grange causality, although it, it's not. It's also different from a statistical, you know, causal uh, relations. So for this one, uh, we explore a, a very special uh, a scheme we call the delay embedding scheme, which we can even using one dimensional uh, the data can reconstruct the, the, the whole, uh, I mean, dynamics, I mean, topologically. And so with this feature, we can, uh, infer the dynamic causal relation. So, and um, uh, then uh, with in such a way, uh, we can uh, move from the uh, current statistic based data science to the dynamics data science. <laughs> so the fourth one is uh, today I'm going to talk the first uh, topic is uh, green dynamics inspired learning. Um, so this is a uh, uh, is a um, is a, uh, we call the, this work is called a uh, chaotic back propagation. So I will show, talk later for the um, deep learning. Okay, uh, so first the background. <clears throat> and you know, the back propagation and, and was actually first uh, proposed in 1970s. It was uh, rediscovered by the Hindu group <laughs> in 1986. Then, uh, it was widely used in the uh, you know, neural network and the deep learning. I think most, uh, almost all of the uh, current algorithm for the training uh, using the BP. Uh, so like the uh, MLP mixer or the GPT-3, you know, or even alpha Ford 2 they all use the, uh, the BP or it's a variance, you know, BP plus the SGD or BP IDAM. A bit BP momentum. So, uh, so it's a it's a general it's a general uh, BP is a general uh, you know algorithm for almost all of the deep learning. Uh, so a DP is very uh, is a advantage is very clear you know it's a uh, it's a great in the dynamics so it's a uh, the convergence they have a, it can ensure the convergence to a certain you know solution. So it's a very good, uh, but it's also it's a back, you know, it's a drawback uh, because it's the gradient the dynamics. Uh, the one is, uh, I mean, the, the problem is that uh, they have uh, suffer from the local minimal problem. So it, they can, they may not, 
lend them uh, the good solution. <laughs> so, and the another uh, problem is that, uh, you know, we consider a uh, human brain, you know, we have a, a very efficient uh, lending, you know, uh, but uh, and there is no evidence any, I mean, there is no sufficient evidence to show uh, our brain use the, uh, you know, gradient dynamics, which means that the, the, the BP algorithm. So, uh, but we consider, uh, yeah, we, and usually we consider, you know, gradient dynamics, the local dynamics, it's depending on the initial condition. So we consider our brain may using the global dynamics rather than the local dynamics. <laughs> That's why we are considered brain inspiring learning for the deep learning, I mean, for the current um, the AI. Uh, so the motivation, I first uh, talk the motivation. Uh, uh, our motivation ac actually came from the experiment conducted by the Freeman, UC uh, Berkeley. Um, <clears throat> he conducted the experiment for the uh, rapid, you know, the they found rapid, they test uh, uh, the, the, the brain, the oscillation. <laughs> they test, uh, uh, you know, the, um, they gave the food, of, I mean, the uh, carrot for the uh, carrot for the, for the rabbit, then found out their brain actually have oscillation. It's very interesting. So he, uh, he measured the oscillation, found out it's not a green, green dynamics. It's also not a periodic or dynamics. It's also not a random dynamics. And then uh, after careful, you know, uh, analyze, they found that it's a chaotic dynamics. <laughs> also it's a transit, you know, after a certain transit, they eventually uh, recognized the, the, you know, the, the, the carrot. So, uh, so this experiment show, um, you know, long evolution, uh, our, you know, the animal brain actually explored the, the chaotic dynamics for the, uh, you know, for the thinking, for the recognition, rather than the, our concise simple grading the dynamics. So that is uh, the first, uh, uh, I mean, the, the experiment uh, to find out the chaotic dynamics explored by the, the animal brain. Okay, the second one is, uh, is also, oh, this one is uh, 1987. The second one is um, our collaborator, uh, Professor Eichler from University of Tokyo. And so they conducted the experiment. Actually, he, he uh, also with the mass model, uh, the Dr. Mass model. So they conducted the experiment on the, uh, the squatter. squatter. They have a very um, a giant axon, I mean, nervous system, nervous system. So after the stimulation, they found that uh, they have a, a, a dynamics, they measure their dynamics, also found that this dynamics is not random, also not a periodic, it's actually it's a chaotic, the, the dynamics. So, which means the neurons explore the chaotic dynamics. So, um, so with uh, such a two experiments, so we further, uh, I collaborated with the, uh, the professor Aihana, University of Tokyo. We um, we construct we call the uh, transient chaotic neural network <laughs> in 1995. So I passed this work. Then uh, we use them for the we call the chaotic annealing for the um, combinatorial optimization. So I, I passed the, this one. Uh, going, I'm going to focus on the. Uh, deep learning. <laughs> so then we return to the uh, chaos. You know, I think most of the audience are uh, familiar with the, uh, the chaos because uh, uh, this group is a biophysics. <laughs> so chaos, chaos, I think, is, a, uh, is widely, I mean, observed in the, you know, in the physics, the model. So uh, it was, uh, uh, even, even though I, I, I still like to give a brief <laughs> introduction for the chaos. You know, chaos was uh, found out in uh, 1963 by the meteorologist, the Lawrence. So uh, he found that, you know, ODE, ordinary differential equation, is kind of a determining, it's a determining system. So traditionally, we consider the determining system as far as the initial value is, is it, 
is decided, hold the trajectory and uniquely decided. You know, this is a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, an, a theory. So, but then, uh, but then, so Lawrence found out, and uh, uh, even a very small, uh, you know, uh, difference for the initial value, they can generate it completely uh, different, you know, the, the, the trajectory uh, after long term, you know, evolution. So, which means that, uh, and and even a, a determined system actually can and uh, can generate on predictable phenomena, which is considered uh, unthinkable at that time, you know, because we consider the determined system should uh, give a unique trajectory. It, it should be predictable. But, uh, but anyway, um, uh, this is, uh, they call this uh, attractor, the chaotic attractor. So uh, uh, that one, and then they, they, they have the, you know, freeze, we call the butterfly effect, you know, like Amazon, uh, you know, the swing of the a butterfly, and even small, you know, swing, they can vibration, they can generate a huge hurricane in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> this is unpredictable. So uh, they have many uh, features. I'm uh, pass all this uh, contents because the time limitation or is a 10 minutes, I have to go further. So from a mathematical view point, you know, KRDO3 imply cause chaos, you know, or high dimensional system is the married chaos and snapback repeller implied chaos is, is the topological chaos, which means that, yeah, oh, okay. And uh, so uh, uh, the significant meaning is that determinant system even can make some unpredictable phenomena. So it's a very, uh, very, you know, you, you were, you know, it's an interesting phenomena. So, and then we uh, came back to the uh, uh, the deeper neural uh, deeper neural network. You know, neural network we have an input layer and multi layer network. You know, we had outer output layer, input layer. Uh, you have you can uh, give the you know the, the input data, then we train uh, you know a certain uh, with the label you know, supervised, unsupervised. So the information flow from the input to out, output, okay. Then we take one, take one single neuron, for example. This single neuron we put here, then this is the input for even this neuron, they have input, they have output. You know? And we usually use the single model function, but we can also use other type of function, even linear function. So. Uh, this is a, a neural, you know, a information flow. But then uh, for the training, is a is a different, you know, hindering uh, algorithm. Uh, I mean, the BP algorithm is uh, uh, they have a loss function. Uh, you know, they check the your training output if the with the you know observer the data. They have a loss function. If the loss is high, they they are going to back to remodify uh, the the weighting of the neural connections. So they say they call the back propagation layer by layer. So uh, the, the, uh, the blue color is the original BP algorithm, you know, is the back propagation. Then uh, we have a BP algorithm, the, the you know, the, the, the weighting and between the neuron uh, is based on the grading the dynamics, you know, is the grading for the loss function. Uh, uh, but here we are going to uh, do different way. We are going to a small modification, modification, very small. Is that we're going to use the output of this or the same neuron, then back to their connected weighting, the, the, the red one. So the difference is here, the loss function, uh, we call the chaotic BP, CBP. CBP loss function, we just, uh, you know, we just ate one term. This is the original uh, term of the BP loss function. This is an additional one. Additional one is a is a this one. This one is a uh, you know it's very simple. Each neuron they have one. So you, uh, if if you have uh, one thousand neurons, you you have one thousand this one. So uh, here we add two you know parameters. Uh, the one is the CIG. CIG actually uh, each neuron we have one. But uh, now uh, but uh, in in practice we only use one. We 
drop IgA, we, we for, the, for the all of neuron, we use the same parameter, C. Okay, and uh, this is actually, we call the temperature. We are, uh, we are you know, uh, explain later. Uh, another one is uh, at I0. I0 is uh, uh, actually, we, we use the fixed value is a, a 0 0.65. We use fixed, fixed value. Why? Because it can generate the chaos. <laughs> so, uh, so this term you can see is a similar like, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, you know, cross uh, the, the uh, entropy, you know, is a divergence, you know, cross divergence. So, so it's a, uh, it's a, and um, it's very simple. So uh, we fix this one. We actually only have one parameter. See, so uh, this is a, uh, then uh, this is our our model. So we will can we can prove this model can generate the chaos. Uh, we don't need any additional dynamics for the external, you know, um, you know, uh, the system. We only uh, this dynamic chaos generated by our own system. Okay, and. Um, so and then we are rewriting this equation in this one, you know, because this is updating. Updating, you can, this is the iteration. So if you write in this way, they can, we can consider this the updating as the dynamic system, okay? So we are going to study this dynamic system to show their convergence and the, all the dynamic features. Okay, and, and how we derive and this equation derive this the you know um, the, uh, the the updating the equations we, we just show you you know this is the original BP loss function and this is the additional uh, we added for the CBP and then we just use the you know derivation we can get this equation so this is a so this term and uh, with this term is called the CBP. Without this term is a BP. And uh, you can see if the C is a zero, zero, we, we added, as mentioned, we added one parameter. If C is a zero, this term disappear. It's a coincidence with the original BP. And C actually is uh, slowly reduced. You know, this uh, beta is a, a zero one uh, parameter. So it's a iter iteration, uh, C is uh, reduced. So eventually, you know, uh, from a chaos, they are, reduced to the grading the dynamics because the original BP is grading the dynamics. You know, this term will disappear eventually. Okay, so, uh, and, and, but what's the, the, the physical meaning for this the term? So you can see it's a kind of a negative feedback for the W, for the, uh, the, the variable. So we introduced that negative feedback for itself. So they can, uh, we can show, they can generate the chaos Without this term, is the gradient dynamics. Okay, and so and, and certainly you can use also use the uh, if you don't use the single model, you can relay relu and any you can make the similar uh, implementation. So this is the algorithm. Algorithm is very simple. The uh, BP is here, CBP is here. The only difference is here. We 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 have the, this term. You know, and this is uh, we reduce the Z. So and any other is the same. So you, you just modify the BP with this very small, you know, the modification. Okay, so we are going to talk the theory. First, I'll talk the theory, we can talk the result. Oh, it's, a, it's a so quick. So uh, as mentioned, when the temperature is small, C is a small, and um, this area, uh, when C is a small, so it's a coincident with the uh, BP, so that they can, it converges the solution. I mean, training converges to a fixed point. You know, so it's a, it's the same with the BP, and so we can prove it's very easy. So with the low temperature, I mean, C is a small, the CBP is BP. It's a gradient dynamics. So uh, then the temperature is in the middle, uh, middle range. So you have a loss of the bifurcation. You can see this is the output of a neuron. It's a kind of loss of the bifurcation. So the optimal output, okay, it's a exponent is still negative. So and so we can show the, this bifurcation they can generate or eliminate many the equilibrium and the change their stability. They can make the dynamic rich, rich, very rich. Uh, then uh, then the, the uh, 
uh, temperature is high, is that become a chaos? You know, the Lyapunov exponent is positive. You know, is a, a chaos. It's a numerical chaos. So you can see the neuron output is the same. Is a so like the random. You know, it's not random. It's a chaotic. Okay. So we can prove, and uh, there is a repeller. There is a transversal homo clinic orbit. Actually, we can prove they are snackback repeller, which means it's a marrow of chaos. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, so what's the feature of the Marit chaos? I, I don't have time. So it's a sensitive initial value and a fractal space and a positive length of exponent high topological entropy. <laughs> okay. So uh, we can also prove um, uh, when the, in the chaotic uh, dynamics, they are searching value. I mean, searching space, the volume is become very small. Attract, I mean, attractor is uh, very small, which means uh, the searcher is going to be very efficient because we are in very small area for search, <laughs> even it's the global. So you can see the snack back repeller from this repeller, they can came, they can run out, then eventually come back exactly to the same repeller. So it's a uh, <laughs> this is a illustration, just illustration. So we are going to the numerical simulation. Uh, for the single neuron, you know, we are going to we show this is the neuron, the waiting. This is a Z, Z is a smaller, small, uh, even slowly reduced. You can see the Z, the, the neuron, I mean, neuron, the waiting, the waiting is a, is a, is a chaotic, you know, is a line eventually converging, right? Then this is a loss function, is then is eventually reduced. And so it's not a local dynamics, <laughs> gradient the dynamics is a global chaotic line. Okay. So, from a high temperature, from a chaos, then a bifurcation eventually converging to the fixed point, you know, converging dynamics, greening the dynamics. Okay, now we, we are going to, open, first we, we, are, we are going to learn XOR problem. They are actually four local minimum and one global minimum. So uh, then we use the three neuron, three neuron to, you know, model this the XOR problem. Then we can find out, uh, if, you, if you use, this is a, uh, the, the weighting, they change in, with the iteration, with the iteration, you know, this is the Lyapunov the exponent. You can see our uh, CBP is always uh, reach the global minimum with the 100%. And, uh, but the original BP, I mean, traditional BP, uh, they, they, are on, they only can reach the global minimum with the different uh, initial con condition is uh, about 70, 80%, okay. Uh, then we are then we try the many bench uh, um, benchmark problem like the uh, this is the many you know uh, you, this is sample size you know so uh, we I will show one of the digital we first show digital there are ten categories so from zero to nine and um, so you can see the loss function this is the chaotic dynamics you know uh, CBP they are first is a Loss function is uh, very large. Then eventually reduced. This is the this is the blue is the uh, the BP you know BP algorithm. So eventually you know they are, uh, our CBP become, become smaller. So this is the accuracy. You know accuracy is uh, is also in this way. So our you know is the so our algorithm is a uh, is a higher is a higher in terms of accuracy. So this example, <laughs> we just show CBP. BP charge is zero, but the uh, uh, CBP is zero, but the BP is four. Actually, the true is zero. <laughs> they just take a few example. So this is a, a training time. You know, training time and BP and CBP is very similar because we only aid one term. So CBP, if you train same iterations, so CBP is a small, uh, you know, is, is a higher, small, higher, expensive than the BP. But if you consider the same accuracy, if we reach, let's say, uh, 10 minus five, and then uh, our CBP is much, much, you know, uh, efficient. Then we, uh, you can see, we can compare it to the uh, SOTA, you know, most of the, I mean, uh, uh, the state of the art, the, the algorithm with the, uh, then we can show, uh, we CBP is uh, better than the BP for, all these the examples, this benchmark example. We also try the CIFAR 10. CIFAR 10 is a, uh, they are uh, 
50,000 training samples than with the 10,000 tested sample for test. So uh, you can see uh, CBP is uh, the loss function is, is, is why this is the BP. Now this is accuracy. Uh, accuracy is, uh, so it's uh, higher than the uh, BP. So we also use the, you know, uh, you know, SOTA algorithm is uh, SGD. They use the uh, BP use the SGD, we still can uh, better that. So I mean, even momentum, we can also better. And so this is a good example. <laughs> uh, then uh, we show uh, for the uh, CIFA uh, 10, and um, we also, it's, a, it's better than the uh, SOTA. Then we, then we pass the, we don't have time. We also, we try the SN, SN is, a, is more like the, uh, you know, um, our brain. Then, and right now we are trying the uh, image night. There are over 1 million <laughs> images. So, so it's a very time consuming. But fortunately, uh, the current results show our uh, CBP is uh, still better than the uh, SOTA. So I, I'm going to uh, summarize, I don't have time. Uh, you know, uh, I, I just uh, um, show you uh, algorithm <laughs> is that we call the CBP, is the global uh, the chaotic dynamics, then eventually bifurcation eventually converges to the local gradient dynamics is the BP. So uh, they have a global learning ability better than BP, then it's computationally equivalent uh, or efficient than SOTA method. Uh, they have a better performance uh, in trend DNA than the SN in various data set. So, uh, so uh, well, I, I will just publish this paper. <laughs> but this one, we, we didn't uh, try the uh, image net because it's uh, too costly. It's, uh, uh, we, we don't have such funding <laughs> to, to train a so big model to, for the image net. But right now, we are, uh, we are working on this part. So uh, this is uh, uh, this paper showed the uh, CBP. But uh, the theoretical work is uh, in the past few years, we have a, a few, you know, the, the paper on this issue. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to take a question. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm, uh, I think I uh, take more time. That's no worries. Thank you, Lunan, for a wonderful talk. So we have time for one question, which I will, I'll yeah. ask you right yeah. away. And then at the end of both the talks, we have 15 minutes for extended questions for both you and Shankar. So we can take more questions yeah. then. So the question I want to ask you is from John B. And they're mm. asking, do you know of any evidence from studies of the brain for a coupling that would be like your chaotic loss coupling? Coupling, yeah. Um, I think there are a few studies on uh, you know, synchronization, you know, and it's kind of a coupling neuron, you know, SCN neuron, we have oscillator. We have a 30 thousand SC neuron control our biological clock, they usually coupled together. So we used to study, I mean, the 10 years ago, we, we, we studied on this issue, but it's not, I'm not sure it's, it's related to the chaos. You know, chaos is a, it's a different. They may, but I'm not, I'm not sure. But, you know, we usually consider this synchronization. Yeah. Thank you, Lunan. So we will take more questions for you, you know, once both talks are over and I already see some more questions. So, you know, don't worry about oh, okay. them on chat. We will ask you directly, you know, at the end of the other talk, like when we have time for both talks. So thank you, okay. Lunan, once again. And Shankar, okay, you. Away and, 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 you know, uh, if okay, Lunan... Yeah.